The state television company Western Armenia represents the most important news for today. Today's broadcast. The first president of the Republic of Western Armenia, Armena Gabrahamyan, and the chairperson of National Assembly visited the Musalar Memorial. Armena Gabrahamyan visited the monument dedicated to Manuk Sahagan. Conference was held. The government of Western Armenia invites you to a Zoom meeting. Conference dedicated to artworks stolen in the period of genocide. Hamlet of Sepian's unique collection, the state of Anahit goddess kept in the British Museum, will be exhibited in Yerevan. The delegation led by the first president of Western Armenia, Armen Abrahamian, accompanied by Nelly Haritsunyan, the chairperson of the National Assembly of Western Armenia, visited the Musalar Heroic Battle Memorial, put flowers at the bust of the Admiral Louis Dartiges to Fournay. The delegation also stopped at the fountain monument that symbolizes the centuries old Armenian French friendship, where the names of the French sailors are engraved who participated in the salvation of people of Musalar. In the territory of memorial complex, the guests also stopped at the memorial stop, perpetuating the memory of the 23 Armenians martyred in the battles of Arara. It is worth mentioning that in 1915, the residents of Musalar ignored the plan of young Turks of destroying Armenian people and live in Armenian inhabited areas, fiercely resisted the Turkish troops for 53 days, repelled the attacks of the regular army three times. Having suffered great losses, the Turkish army changed its uh, tactics around the mountains and the sailors of the French military ship, noting that Christians are in danger, flag with the inscription helped the surviving army were taken to Port Sad Port in Egypt. On February 1, the first president of the Republic of Western Armenia, Armena Gabrahamian, and the chairperson of the National Council of Western Armenia visited the monument dedicated to Manuk Sarkis Sahagan, who died during the battles for the recapture of Mohratakh raids. He was called also by the name of Manch, and he was brave student of Commander Leonid Asgaldian, the respected freedom warrior of the Squadron, who was always known by his sharp and unmistakable strikes like an eagle. In his light battle, Manuk, together with his friends in arms, unexpectedly rushed back the enemies and, and ended the battle with the victory of our soldiers. But Manuk, who was killed by the unarmed ballot, does not taste the joy of victory. He lived only 23 years. Armena Gabrahamian, the first president of the Republic of Western Armenia, remembers that uh, saying as follows. The guy was lying a few meters away, away from me. I will never forget the brave guy. On February 1st, a scientific conference dedicated to 105th anniversary of the establishment of Armenian Legion was held at the office of the Republic of Western Armenia in Yerevan. During the event, the president of the National Council of Western Armenia, Armena Gabrahamian, presented in detail the glorious history of the Armenian Legion. The video version on the conference is available on YouTube page of Western Armenian TV. Government of Western Armenia invites you to participate in the Zoom meeting dedicated to the 14th anniversary of the establishment of the government of Armenia. The meeting will take place in 2024 on February 2, 2023 at uh, half past 6 on Paris time and at half past 9 on Yerevan time. The topic of the meeting is the 14th anniversary of establishment of government of Armenia. The Zoom will meeting will be in Armenian language. A conference dedicated to artworks stolen during the, in the period of genocide committed against Armenian and repercussions. West Food, the Hostum Armenia Institute op operating at the Los Angeles branch of the University of California, informed that a conference will be held on February 10, dedicated to the compensation of stolen works of art and damages during the genocide committed against Armenia. The acting force of the conference started under the leadership of Professor Hernar Vatnapu and Professor Michael Basilar, whose goal is to create a system to ensure the return of stolen works of an art during the genocide committed against Armenia. During the conference, a documentary film will be shown for the public present in the hall, which will present the works done until then and two discussions will be held. Ambassador Stewart Essendated is the main speaker. Lawyers Laurent Filtre and Rental Shoprek, as well as detective journalist Simon Maragian, will also make speeches. The conference will take place in the Leonard Hall of the Fowell Museum of the University from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. To register, please come to the hall at 
half past nine to follow the conference online or get more information. Visit the following link below. It is worth reminding once again that with regard to all works stolen during the genocide committed against Armenia in Western Armenia, only the government of Western Armenia has the right to receive all restitutions and or compensation. French collector Hamlet of Sepian is a traveler of time. His unique collections represent a rich cultural heritage of Western Armenia and reveals the limits of imagination and taste of Armenian masters in a different way. In 2012, Hamlet of Sepian visited Western Armenia, Kilikia, for 50 days. Hamlet of Sepian finds an Armenian drum in Ani. According to Hamlet, thought that the court next to him deliberately dropped it. It was a quiet word corn, but some of the letters were legible. Hamlet took it by simulating Armenia. During the interview given to RDDOP AM, Hamlet of Sepian said that he returned from the pilgrimage and started searching in internet about the history of Armenia drums found in Inani, but unfortunately he did not find anything about that. Later on, he found out that apart from the Armenian drums minted by the Kyrgyzians in the Tashir Zulaget area. No Armenian drums were minted in Ani or in any other settlement during the Bagrat Dunyat's kingdom. After that, he showed the drum to the head of the numismatic department of the History Museum of Armenia. Later found out that it was a drum minted by the Georgian queen Rusudan in the 13th century. One day, and uh, during another search, search, he found a silver belt which the German seller presented as Turkish, and he decided that he should get that belt. And from that day, he noted that he became interested in Armenian silversmithing. To the journalist's question, where does he gather reliable information? Hamlet Hofsepian answered that the American writer Hofsep Tokat referred to the craft of silversmithing in Western Armenia in his book, Armenian Silversmith Masters. Thanks to him, he got acquainted with Armenian jewelry. Every time he visited the Turkish Museum in Western Armenia and he felt great pain because the works of Armenian masters are presented as part of Turkish or at best Ottoman culture. On the contrary, you would find almost nothing in our museum, although we have a rich collection in the vault. Museum of the History of Armenia, due to the agreement reached between NOS and the British Museum in September 2024, the statue of Queen Anahit kept in British Museum will be exhibited for the first time in year one, according to the Turin Committee. The worship of the goddess Anahit in the Armenian highlands began from time immemorial and was closely related to the worship of motherhood. The main temple of Anahit was located in Yeriza, town of Yegerian's province of Kartru Haik. The temple was in uh, 34 during the invasion of the Roman general Mark Antony. His soldiers broke the huge golden statue of Anahit and took it to Rome. Rumors spread that the first soldier who attacked the statue of Anahit went blind, then went mad and died. The relics kept in the British Museum were found at the end of the 19th century in Yerzenga by a peasant during farming. The relics of the statue were moved to England under some circumstances and the copy is in the Museum of the History of Armenia. This was all for today. Goodbye.